Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a game to the favorites and how to program to use the trackball and the same instructions will also work for the spinner. As you can see the spinner, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the mouse moves left and right with the spinner. The mouse is right here. If you use the trackball, it works like a mouse or the mouse works like a mouse. Alright, you can also navigate through this area with the joystick one, which makes a great big cursor, all right, and the buttons. So I've done a search up here in the, in the search bar for command, because I want to find missile command out of the 4,000 games. And I selected, here's Ninja Commando, the instructions for it are over here. You select missile command to add it to your favorites list. This is your not favorites list right now you would go over here and hit this little heart which is right up there there's a heart now the hearts red nothing here changed but if I enter a game if I enter a game by pushing this third button and then exit again you can see now I have my favorites list I've still got the search for command up but missile command is in the favorites list and astro command bionic commando captain commando all these other commands are in the not favorites list so, let's use the joystick this time. I'll go over and go, hover over Missile Command, hit the button, and now it's started the game. This is the first information screen. Hit any button, it'll go on into it. All right, I'm going to move the mouse out of the way a little bit. Okay, so there's Missile Command. Shows game over across the bottom. These two buttons are the credit input. We'll put a credit in. Put another credit in. Doesn't matter which button you hit for this game. Some games it matters which button you hit, so you gotta kind of get used to that. All right, and then I'm gonna hit start two players. So we're gonna go and start, and trackball doesn't work, spinner doesn't work. To move it around, I would move this, and that's really kind of hard to control. And the fire is that button, okay? And you fire once from each of the three with the three different buttons. That's how it works. I'm getting just blasted here. Oh, it's out of control. Pause. Holding down the two player key is a shift button to change the credit buttons into pause. Hold it down, unpause, pause. Now I want to go into the main preferences control panel. I hit the right button and it brings up the control panel and I can change the input for all the games if I want for the different controllers, which I don't want to do, but you can. Saves time if you get a bunch of games that you want to be a default. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the next one down, which is the input for this machine. Okay, I'm sorry, press this button here, and that brings it into it. So this tells me what all, all the different controls that might be used for this game are, and what is being used. Okay, you navigate this with the joystick, I want to change the track X analog to the, from joystick control X to trackball control X. So I navigate the yellow bar to it, hit this first button closest to the joystick, and then all I do is use the control that I want to do it. Now let's say I make a mistake and I hit this button over here. It's not even going to do that because it's not an analog control. Let's say I do this. Right, that's now saying that this is going to be what controls the mouse XX. Well, obviously that's not what I want. So to change it again, you have to actually go off it just for a second, then go back onto it again. I'll explain that in a second. Hit the button to go back into it. Now I'll move the trackball on the X-axis. Now it says mouse 4X, and now the trackball is controlling the X-axis. Now I have to change the Y axis as well. So I'm going to move down to track Y analog. Right now it's on mouse or joystick. Hit the button and roll the button on the Y axis. Okay? Simple, simple. Now when I navigate back to return to previous screen, hit this button, return to game, which is still paused. Okay, and I've messed up, I've gotten pretty well, pretty badly blown up here. 
hold the shift key down, go back to play. Now when I move around and fire, it's using this. Okay, I completed the level. Yay! Now let's go back, let's do another level. Okay, so now I'm not actually very good at this game. Okay, simple, simple. When I exit the game, if I go back to it again, I'll use the joystick and hit the play button, which is the third one. Does its little test again, get through it, add a credit, player one. This time when I come in, it saved all saved that control. And I have the ability to play the way that I want to. Now, one more thing, I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna go back to the main. Okay, there's after input this machine, there's something called analog controls. Okay, that's the input for this machine. Analog controls, if I wanted the trackball to be to move the cursor around faster or slower, that's where you change that sensitivity. So the track X digital speed is, you select it and you can change that number all the way up to, I think it goes to 150. Okay, it was on 10 when I started. Oh, there's 160, 170. I'm not even sure how high it goes. Oh, what was that? Was it on, okay, track X reverse. I hit that and changed it or didn't change it. I'm not sure what I did. So we're gonna go back to the game and find out. I'm turning it back down to 10 because it was actually a good speed for me for moving the ball around. Okay, we're back to 10, hit the button, I return the previous menu, return the machine, unpause it, okay, now it's doing weird stuff, when I try to go that way, it's, it's backwards, so I messed that up, so all I have to do is go back to analog controls, I had accidentally changed track X reverse to on, and I want it off. So we'll get back off that again, return to previous. Okay, now that's set back the way that it was, I think. And now the trackball moves the way that I want it to. So that's the basics on changing, adding the trackball to any machine. Okay, I want to exit the game, hold the shift down, and press one player, and it leaves the game back to this again.